Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the best thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Now, okay, Old World Blues is pretty damn awesome, <clears throat> and it's a super, super well done mod. But I have found a mod that, so long as it doesn't crash, will top it. This was literally, like, just fucking uploaded. Like, as I was looking for something to play that wasn't Old World Blues today, it was just uploaded, and I had to take a fucking look at it. This is... Lord of the Rings, everybody. Oh my god. So it's in, like, super alpha. Uh, but they have, you know, custom-made lands and stuff. They've got Gondor, Mordor, uh, you know, the Eastlands is here, uh, Erebor is here, the Northern Wastes, of course, uh, excuse me, goodness, is here. you got Linden, there's the Shire, of course. You've got Rivendell there. I wonder how powerful Rivendell really is. Uh, Moria, of course. Um, the once great uh, uh, city areas and stuff. You've got Anduin. You've got Elves of Mirkwood. That's amazing. It's amazing. Holy crap. Obviously, it is still in um, some sort of state because you see all of the other world nations are, are, are sandwiched into the sidebar here. You can make up the Soviets. Um, the United Kingdom's right there. Partly right there. It's all... I don't know if this is going to... Can we even... Oh, we can actually choose them still! <laughs> uh, I love it. But, of course, you know, your uh, favorite faction leaders are here. You know, you've got, of course, Denethor here. If we go into Moria, we've got Balin here. Balin. Uh, you've got Elrond, of course, and Rivendell. Uh, you've got... Oh, man. I, I haven't watched the movies in a while. It's going to be difficult to pronounce. Um, yeah, so you've got Sauron and Mordor, of course. Uh, you've got uh, Margdron. You've got, you know, technically nobody in the Northern Wastes. But you have uh, Ironfoot in uh, Erebor, so you've got the, the dwarves. Uh, it's This is so cool. This is so cool. You've got the Ents, so I wonder if they're really powerful. You've got Isengard here, led by Sauron. Got Rohan, of course, led by Theoden. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty freaking sweet, man. This is so cool. This is so, so, so cool. Like really amazing. I, I I I don't even know who to play as. I don't want. I don't know who to play as. Um, it's just so good. So I'm gonna go with the dwarves. So I'm gonna go with the Erebor here. We're gonna go with Ironfoot, just to see what goes on. Now, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm still getting over a very uh, annoying cold. Of course, they have a lot of mountain divisions. Ooh, they already have technically tanks, emergency response regiments, um, who are level one. Poor bastards. I would imagine emergency responding to everything. You've got Son of Druin. You've got Erebor Guard, which is the mountainous divisions. Uh, Second Eastern Vanguard, Third Eastern Vanguard. Oh, wow. You've got all these armies are named. This is amazing. This is so amazing. Uh, we've got Ironfoot here. Um, Union of Firebeards. We've got the Lonely Mountain Party, which is democratic, and the Non-Aligned uh, is currently led by Mr. Ironfoot. Um, I'm not sure who the Union of the Firebeards is led by, but uh, we are a puppet. Oh, Moria is a puppet of ours, so that's actually quite lovely. It looks like they don't really have anything. Um, well, they've got two divisions at least. Good luck to them, that's all I have to say there. Um, oh, I've got the Kingdom of Dale right on our border here too. Well, that's nice. Brand, led by Brand. Uh, and they're democratic. Very interesting. I wonder, is Mordor fascist? Oh, yeah, they are. Uh, the Black Council. And then who is it? The FOM? Okay. Um, Eastlands is not aligned. They're not aligned, but they're quite fascist looking. Not aligned. What about Rivendell? Also, okay, yeah, they'd be not aligned. I, I figured they would uh, implement monarchism into this one, just because there's a lot of kingdoms, but... What are the Northern Wastes? Okay, they're not aligned. All right. I love how they kind of have Nepal's flag going on there. Well, they have no divisions, so they could be really easily invaded. Maybe we'll just test invade. Um, so we have 15 total divisions. Um, oh, yes, we have custom. There's Gimli. There he is. We're, fuck you. I don't care who the most, who the good choice is. We're going with Gimli. Um, so if we want to frontline, can we frontline? Oh, can we not even invade? The northern... Can nobody just get up there? Is there any... Where is the... There has to be an entrance into the northern wastes. So you have to navally invade? Oh my. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, never mind. Um, there's really nobody around me. I want a war. So I guess we're just not going to bother right now. Sorry, Gimli. Um, yeah, that's amazing. This is so cool. So National Focus. Yes, so it is a custom focus tree. I do believe it would be that for everybody. Let's look at somebody who's a little bit less significant. Um, uh, the Shire obviously will. They're going to do Shire. They're going to do Rivendell. Um, they're going to do... I would imagine Moria. Mm, no, okay, so Moria. So we sub they can submit and unite. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Do not submit to to Mordor. That's not good. Uh, ah, here we go. So this is, this is a base focus tree for the Mirkwood Elves. So that, 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 that needs to change. If, custom for all, please. Yeah, Rivendell's got its own custom. That's what I figured. The Shire does not. I'm surprised. Oh, no, it does. Sort of. So this is your basic stuff, but they do have like a, a Fate of the Shire one that they can go with as well. So that's okay. Militarize the Hobbits. <laughs> uh, that's cute. That's adorable. Oh, a Vassal Kingdom here. No, so they don't. Oh, they do kind of. They really need to re like redo this. I know it's a pre-alpha and stuff, uh, but the fact that they have customs is pretty sweet. I'm glad that Erebor has just a full oat custom. Like, I'm so happy about that. Um, that's pretty darn sweet. So we have Dwarf Infantry, Mountain Dwarf Division, and Light Tank, which I'm going to rename. Because um, fuck you. To um, <coughs> uh, Heavy Calv... Heavy... Dwarf. Actually, no. They have like the. They're like steampunk, right? Steam tanks. Done. Rename. They're now steam tanks. Fuck you. That's why. Uh, we have nine military factories. Um. Okay. So what do our recruit deploy? What do the dwarven infantry take? Um. Uh, just infantry. Okay. That. That's not a bad template. Uh, what do the mountains ones look like? It's also not a terrible template. Could be a little bit better. That's fine. Wow, we have a decent amount of manpower, actually. Wow. Uh, we'll train up some some infantry for now until we get some more factories, and then we'll do some... Um, we'll do... Uh, we'll do tanks later on. So we've got light tank already researched, which is pretty sweet. Um, nice to see the regular research tree going on here. We're going to just give the dwarfs, you know, guns. We should give... We should get some... So we have the light tank. Let's do light tank two before we start producing tanks. We've got 14 civilian factories. Um, we need to prepare ourselves for war, definitely. So we'll build some, we'll build some more military factories there. I don't care about missing equipment. I'm, I'm not, I'm not in this for the long haul here, fellas. So they kind of like me, Merkwood. Yeah, they enjoy me a little bit. They enjoy me a little bit. Everybody more or less doesn't hate me. Oh, Rohan is not a f big fan, but Rohan's not a fan of anybody, so who gives a fuck? Screw you, Rohan, you piece of shit. What does Mordor think of me? Oh, yeah, minus 10. That's actually not that bad. Can we stage a coup, a communist coup, <laughs> in, uh, in, um, uh, we can't improve relations. Oh, we don't even have 10, right? Okay. That's amazing. How much, what does Dale think of us? Dale is not a fan. Well, Dale... I'm not a fan of you either. So, fuck you. Oh, we can't declare war or justify. Oh, because we're not aligned. Fuck. Shit. Well, I guess we're going fascist when we get the chance to, eh? Let's unpause and see what the hell the world looks like. The War of the Ring. Okay, here we go. This mod one ring adopts the form of national spirit. Oh, that's interesting. Very significant stat boost. So... National spirit. So I guess assume that's national unity. I would imagine. No, maybe not. Um, no nation managed to obtain the ring by 1943. Refutable will destroy it, and the nation of Mordor will be severely weakened. Okay. Rivendell will invoke Elrond's council in December of 1936. So within a year, nations of Gondor, Mirkwood, and Erebor can now choose to add either their finest warrior, a decent replacement, or no one at all to the fellowship. Watch out for the news event. Chinese Fellowship of the Ring. Take a quick the events picture. I'm going to find the Fellowship. I'm going to ask the Ring. Okay, that's interesting. So, they're going to ask me for my greatest warrior, which is going to be Gimli. 
uh, obviously, uh, in 1930, at the end of 1936. And then if Mordor or nobody gets the ring by 1943, then Frodo is going to destroy it and Mordor is going to basically become a cesspit of death and it's going to get killed off by somebody. How many divisions do they start out with? Holy tits on a... Fr okay, so they got like 20-some divisions. I assume they're the strongest. Rivendell's got a good few. They're probably pretty strong divisions, to be fair. Okay. Okay, they, they're they they're doing pretty good. Who is this? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Oh, my God. Um, I know who she is. I've watched the movies, but I'm not like... You know, and would would probably be pretty strong. So they have a good amount of divisions, but I, I want to know what the hell their units are like, honestly. Like, <laughs> honestly. I really want to know what their units are like. Like, I want to become, like, allies with them just to see their fucking units. I might observe later on, I don't know. I'm just really curious to see, like, unit types and stuff going on here. But I'm not a fan of Dale, and Dale's not a fan of me, so... Once the world gets up to 50% world tension, or I switch to fascism... <laughs> I think we're going to take out Dale. I'm not a fan of Dale. He only has two divisions. Day Mr. Dale. They're both defending. Oh, one of them is, sorry. Um, so what do they have? They have a major city here, but their capital is outside of that. Eskaroth. Uh-huh. Okay. Even King's Halls here in Mirkwood. What would be really cool is some custom... Um, things here. Somebody should make a sub-mod for custom... Uh, unit looks and stuff for each, like, make these... Okay, these guys are dwarves. They're inside of the fucking... <laughs> they're in the map. So it's fine. Hey, guys. How's it going over here? How many divisions do you have, Stalin? Zero. Can you even produce divisions? No, you don't even have any fucking factories. He's not national focusing. So they are, like, dis they're disabled. Paranormal activities in the Shire. Oh, that's not good. That's very worrying. That's like remilitarizing the fucking Rhineland. All right, so what do we have here? We have normal people for our stuff. I would like to get a... Uh, I would like to get my army kind of ready here. Now, what fucking tree? So we have Fate of Dale. Oh. Which basically means we want to kick Dale's ass. Oh, I kind of want that one. I don't want to reconcile with Dale. Fuck you. Oh, it's Lake Town. Oh. I don't want to fucking stand with Dale. Fuck that. So prepare for war with Run. Strike preemptively. Who do we... Oh, Daggerland. Daggerlad. Oh, okay. All right. We don't have to do that right away, though. We can go with... We can go with these to add some slots. Okay, that's good. We have industrial effort. We're open the mines, so I assume this is going to give us... Um, add production of minus 5, minus 5, but add 20 of that. Why would I... Oh, okay, so minus 10, but add 10. Ooh, that's not great. Add reduction of 12. Oh, okay, so why wouldn't you just go with this one? Take your minus 10, but add 10 of those, and then go with this one quickly. And then get your 10 plus 2 back, and then get 5 um, five oil. That seems like a pretty good idea. Flying contraptions, so we get air experience. At home underground. Um... Which would give us fortress stuff. Okay. Ten land fort in a province in the state. Okay. And then we've got motorization stuff. Import mithril from Moria. Oh. Interesting. Not in a civil war. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I, I really don't like Dale, so we're going to go after Dale first. Because um, they just submit to me. That's just going to be ten times easier than me having to, sh you know, shoot them. Because I still have guns. We don't have custom anything... Other than the really, th this is super cool. It, it needs work, but it's so cool. So Daggerland, hello, <laughs> hello, Theron Jewel. Um, you have quite a few divisions. <coughs> Excuse me. You do have quite a few divisions, and that makes me a little bit worried. If I try to demand your shit, so I probably won't try to demand your stuff. And we're gonna go technological. Oh shit. Uh, send our sharpest axes. Uh, oh, minus 200,000. Leave them to their fate. We'll send... Lord Balin is dead. Oh no, not Balin. Oh, that's a shame. The free orcs of Moria declared war on Moria. Oh, fuck me. Uh, okay. 
That's not good. There's more orcs than there are more, yeah. Um, <laughs> request forces. <clears throat> Should I just let them die and take the two forces they have? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna I'm not even gonna bother. Just give me your fucking troops and just end up dying. Just retreat. Get out. Run. Just run. Let somebody else take care of it, or we'll get there eventually. One of the one of the other. I don't know which, but one of the other. Oh. Um. That's creepy. Well, they don't have very many units either. Yeah, Moria was annexed. I know that's fine. The free orcs can have it until they get their asses kicked. Oh, he didn't get out in time. Run. If you can. Try to run. Get to back. Get back to your land. It's okay, young one. We're going to go kill Dale. You know, Dale. He's not a very nice guy. Have you watched the movie? He's kind of a dick. Uh, oh, armor. National focus! Hey, Dale, fuck you. That's We're going to antagonize your stupid face. I know we have exiled divisions. Oh, we have an unassigned division now? Oh, we are producing men. Despite the fact that we gave, like, way too much shit. Hyperthyroidism. I'm not that surprised. I am not surprised. At all. Hobbit Investor just discovers the third breakfast. A small step for Hobbit indeed. Very small step. They are very small. Ah, our research is all up. Well, let's, let's invent the computer and the radio, everybody. And let's go to industry and let's start researching synthetic oil. Because we might need it. Yeah, fuck you, Dale. Embargo Dale. <laughs> I don't care about trade relations with Dale. Fuck you, Dale piece of shit. <laughs> there are going to be people that are like really into Dale and they're going to be like, why are you being such an asshole to Dale? <laughs> Fuck Dale, that's why. You'll never understand my suffering. Neither will Dale. Oh, Dale. Oh, fuck. Alright, fine. We'll send Gimli. Rivendell invokes secret council. Yeah, I know. I know. Now we need a new commander because Gimli left. Um... Probably go with Dane. What do we got here? Artillery attack. Offensive? Yeah, we'll go with Dane. Dane, Dane seems like a pretty d good dude to uh, lead the troops. We've embargoed Dale. Hey, hold on. Eh, just do that one there. So we've got three. We've got dwarf infantry here. I think we're going to go with um, probably Bomber here. I know we have low manpower, it's fine, don't worry about it. Just don't think about it. Give me Dale. I demand Dale. If Dale is not given to me, then Dale will... I don't know. I'm not actually sure what I'll do. Mordor. So I don't see this whole national, like, this thing that they're talking about. And I'm not sure where it is. Play the long game. Okay. Seek allies in the west, seek allies in the EO, so they're going to head towards allies. Enslave the north, oh. Reach out to Angmar, Isengard. Mm. You're going to try and become allies with Isengard? Okay. The Ents will probably crush them, though. But hey, whatever, man. Mordor never really seems to work out anyway. So it doesn't really matter. This mod is really amazing, though. I'm very happy with this mod. <laughs> I will play this one more than Old World, Bl Old, bleh, Old World Blues if they continue working on it. Like, it's so good. Yes. Give... Oh, shit, they gave me Dale. Well. Alrighty, then. I guess we're gonna demand the other one now. What is it? Dagwood? How do we... Where is it? Where is the Dagwood one? Where did I see that? Power of the Miners, Power of the Monarchs. Yeah, that's like staying. Stand with Dale. <laughs> ah, huh. That's funny. Where was it? There was one that was like antagonized the fuck out of them. Prepare for war with a run. Oh yeah, strike preemptively. We uh, dagger lad. 
So let's let's do that. This is Dagger Lad, yeah. How many units do they have? Oh, they will not be able to stand up very well to me. They do not have the units. Moria elect a Balrog as their leader. Fucking seriously? Durin's Bane? Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, you really don't have very many units. You're just, you're just gonna start mining? Alright. Fine. Nobody likes you, though, just so you know. What is that? Oh, I see. That's like a symbol. Alright, that's weird. Very strange. Don't know how I feel about that. We are just pumping units out like crazy. Now we have some free military factories. Uh, I assume it's motorized with tank. Yeah, it's a couple motorized. More tank than motorized. So, we will do tank first. We'll do f four tank. Oh, we have more than that. Four tank. And we need to do motorized. We'll do up to four motorized. We should really start to trade. Hello, Endwath. Give me some of that. And the elves can give me that. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Getting behind here. We need tank designer. Uh, strategic bombing. We don't have any more. National focus. Strike preemptively. Give me the fucking thing. Give it to me. What's out of our jurisdiction? What do we have over here? The basic tools. We should research. We should research that. Um, we should research oil plants so we can start building some. Um, good. We're going to strike preemptively at the dagger land, which means we're going to get a shit ton of land, and we're going to be bordered with Mordor, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <coughs> Just saying, that might not be a great thing for us at the same time. We should probably do some more subscription laws here. Or probably after this, start going towards that fascism route to get us some more manpower. Probably the better idea. I mean, we have a pretty decent army going on. We have a lot of infantry. I, uh... Genuinely should train a tank. We'll do... Let's do two and see how they do. Goodness, this army's gonna be full before I know it. Fuck. Can't stop producing units. That's a good thing, I guess. Yes, strike preemptively. Pause here. Declare war. Pop. I really don't want to puppet them, but... Um, this army. Yeah, this is this, you guys... There you go. Offensive line. Down into here. Fuck. Fuck them up. Boys. Fuck them up. We're going to surround that unit. Because they're just going to move in. Oh, he's going to get pushed back. Oh, no. Is he going to get... Th yeah, he's died. <laughs> oh, no. I'm murdering a race of weird spirits. That's very unfortunate. Ooh, army research again sounds like a good one. Okay, so let's um, let's start to go down some ideology paths here um, and see where we get uh, to. We'll concentrate our inf in industry a little bit here. We're at war with Daggerland, who is not doing very well. They do have more divisions now. They did make some more divisions, but they are doing very poorly against my units. Like, very, very poorly. I only have one army in there, too. Can you imagine if I had the other army? My goodness gracious. Goodbye, dagger lad. You creepy fucking barrel white motherfucker. You supremely creepy son of a bitch, honestly. Like, it is It is pretty creepy, let's be honest. It's pretty... It's pretty creepy. It, they're pretty creepy. They really should. Like not exist anymore, I think. I think that's a good way to do it. And they aren't, very very shortly. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Who are you again? Are you... Oh. Slave Empire, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. They're on the same Dark Pact faction. Hardaweth and Mordor. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. She has quite a few units. Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear. I'm not, I'm not bored with her either, so I can't even, like... 
slow her down. CAS effort. Oh no, the Ents have to have a fucking... You have to give the Ents a custom focus tree. They're so cool. Honestly, they're so cool. You have to. You can't not let them have it. Okay, so power to the monarchs or power to the miners. So it's communism and fascist if we do the miners. So we're going to go with fascism. I want to say who leads us when we go fascist. Eastlands, how many units do you have? Oh my good. I think you have more than Mordor. Oh no, you're about the same. What are you at? 14, 25. I could take out the elves. I could literally look at taking out the elves. Or Elduin. Or Anduin. Oh no! Mordor just declared war on the Eastlands. Maybe we should... This is this is our calling, brothers. We must defeat. I can't enter. Oh, we can. This army shall go here. This army shall go here. I think that's that's all we border. We shall go. I can't justify <laughs> war goal. Fuck. Okay. Um. Oops. No, not observe. Um, threat 100. There we go. Fucking stupid ass. I want to go to war. 125 days. Fine. Go, my dwarvy dwarves. Dwarvy dwar dwarvy dwarven dwarvers. <clears throat> we really shouldn't. We should be at least in a partial. Oh, fuck. Okay. You just died. We need at least some conscription, please. We're going fascist. We need some... Oh, shit. We have a tank now. Put him in that one. And frontline him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rally behind this cause. Well, yeah, no shit. Should we rally behind declaring war on an evil dictator that has... Oh, my God. So many fucking units on my border. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hardwath is also at war with them. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we, we are making a very, very big mistake. Is that the only faction? Oh, there's the Gondor Alliance. Can we join the Gondor Alliance? No, they hate us. Oh my god, they really fucking hate us. Oh, we generated world tension, that's why. They probably wouldn't hate us if we didn't. I should have observed and generated on somebody else. Oh well, that's fine. So we have the Dark Pact, who hates me. Um, who the fuck are you? Dominion of... Okay. Is it just you guys in that? Okay, it is. Alright. <laughs> have fun. Can I join the Soviet Pact? No. There will be an end when we die. Miserably and alone. Yeah, I agree. I think Dane Dane is, is correct. Dane Ironfoot. You are doing... Yeah, no more greedy kings. Let's go fascist, everybody. <coughs> Fascism is the way of the Lord. Uh, oh. Really? Undun, Kingdom of Erebor is finished. Oh, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. To our deaths. To our deaths. Probably. Fuck. Eh. Eh. Just drive into Mordor. <laughs> One cannot simply drive into Mordor, but the, the they are. They're going to drive into Mordor. Non-aggression pact for the Eastlands. I am I am I stand with you, Eastlands. I want the national spirit to do so. What do I need? Not aligned. Oh, so when we do, when we go fascist, we'll probably be able to do it. Isengard joined the Minion of Valkyr, declared war on Endwath. Oh, there's wars. So Isengard and Endwath are now at war. Isengard is. Oh, with those guys. That's... I didn't expect that one. They're gonna get sandwiched so hardcore, though. Holy crap. Did they join that war? Yeah, they did, yeah. So, Anywath's gonna easily win that one. Uh, pro well, actually, I don't know. Isengard has a good amount of units. But, oh, well. <laughs> this might not go as well as I thought. Oh, no, Mordor is pushing into my lands. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Let's... Can we make a push? Can we make a little cheeky push? Can we make... Fuck off. I don't care. I want it. Offensive line there. Let's make a... If we can't push, what's the point? 
Isengard is now at war with me. Oh no, Rohan. You joined the wrong fucking... Oh, the Gondor Alliance is... Okay, so Gondor is actually with you guys too. And they have a good amount of divisions. So you'll probably be able to be... You'll probably be okay. My problem is going to be... These guys now are pushing in. Uh, oh, I can't get across that fucking thing anyway. So it doesn't even matter. Hooray! So, you know, whatever. Surprised I've lived this long. Oh, I've actually pushed back. I've pushed them back slightly. What? How the fuck? How have I done that? That's nine divisions. No. Get out of my land. Fucking assholes. Yeah. Fight fight them. Er Oh, Kazadum has capitulated to Endwife. And now what? Are they a puppet? No, they just have truces. So they white pieced. Wow, dumb. You are all dumb. I love how Mordor's got troops in there now. <laughs> oh, Kingdom of Gondor is at war with Mordor. That would explain why I'm actually pushing. Okay. Alright then. Hello. Non aggression pact. Hello. Can we join a faction now? Oh, we can't ask to join faction. Because I'm non aligned. Well, let's go fascist. Oh. Oh, really? More than 30%. What are we at now? We're at 30%. I am more 30% support. Yeah, see? Fuck you. Assholes. Start. Go with that one. Why is no national focus set? Is that glitched? I do meet the requirement. There is more than 30%. Oh, I see. It's like the communists are actually taking over. God damn it. I mean, I guess we could just go communist. Whatever. Rivendell Initiative. Oh, yeah. Can you ever defeat Isengard before Rohan falls? That I don't know. I really don't know. Push. Let's push. Let's make our presence known. Push, brethren. Push the evil out. It's like no supply, but it's fine. Just shoot them. Oh my goodness. This war may never end. <laughs> Excuse me, my goodness. Um, Mordor is getting a bunch of their units surrounded here, though. They're all dead. <clears throat> They've uh, gone, Gondor has managed to uh, push back. It looks like uh, Eastlands and stuff is doing a little bit better now. Now they have some uh, support. They weren't doing so great before. But they have some support now. Oh, hey, we're actually kind of winning. Oh, never mind. Can we push in? Did they retreat? Is it possible now to push in? No, we're fighting. Damn it. <laughs> Units suck. There's no supply, so it's just like... Uh... <laughs> They're not the best tanks, so. Oh, we pushed them out of our lands here, though. That's good. Continue the push, brothers. Oh, they keep reinforcing it. Yeah, they keep reinforcing their line. Uh, 
You know, this could be a long conflict. <laughs> I don't think I'm willing to stick around for the full thing right now, but this mod is amazing. It's so cool. Um, definitely try it out. Link is, of course, in the description. Try this mod out. Holy crap, it's just, it's just so cool. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.